It is 10 minutes before the hour tonight on CBS. Elizabeth Montgomery and Robert Foxworth star in a real life drama with murder in mind. It's based on a true story of a real estate agent who was shot while innocently caught up in the middle of a drug dispute. She refuses to rest until her assailant is brought to justice. What are you going to do, throw me out again? I gave you the day off so you can stay home and help me count my bruises. The bruises have healed, Gail. Don't you tell me about bruises. You one tough lady. You can go in that courtroom and take Conlon apart and spit Carver out on the floor just the way you kicked the son of a bitch in the gut when he tried to hurt you. He did hurt me. And Elizabeth Montgomery and Robert Foxworth with a beard. With a, both with joined us this morning. <laughs> now I have a beard. <laughs> you both look great. Good morning Thanks. to both of you. Good morning. Morning, Mark. Uh, a lot of people see actors on the screen, they see you saying the lines, doing the role, but there's a fleshing out of the character that you have to go through before you get there. You both met the real life people that you're portraying. Did that influence you on how your characters came out on screen? Well, actually, I didn't meet Gail until uh, we'd been shooting for a week. They came down to Atlanta, she and Bob Sprague, the part that Bob plays, and it was really wonderful to meet them. Uh, I would have been, I think, a little bit more nervous had I met her before I started this, because I think you really do have to kind of get in there and treat it like you would any other part, you know what I mean? Yeah. But they, they were great. I mean, she's the, um, well, she's an amazing woman. I, I think you have to bring your ima actor's imagination to it, no matter what. I, I wouldn't presume to be Bob Sprague, <laughs> uh, considering all that uh, they have gone through, but uh, it was lovely meeting them, and they were very, they were very supportive. I this, hope they're watching this morning. Well, it must be fun to have someone have Elizabeth Montgomery and Robert Foxworth play them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, maybe not Let's in this hope instance. So. <laughs> yeah. This is a dark movie. Uh, uh, there are uh, some pretty tough times in it. Is it tougher finding the character in that darkness as opposed to doing a, a light, bright comedy where you have to hit the lines to, to be funny? No, I think comedy's much harder. I think. Uh, I don't know, I, I have this theory that if, if you're talking to 10 people and you tell them a story about, you, if you say, I've just seen a little boy whose dog was hit by a car, everybody will go, oh, God, I mean, they'll have the same reaction. If you tell a joke to same, uh, 10 people, they'll have 10 different reactions to it, usually. So I think comedy's harder than drama. How about you, Robert? It's not well, easy, I, none of it. I but. agree 100%. But, but, but you say that you know, that there's, a, there's a dark <laughs> part of this story, but on the other hand, uh, Part of the, the joy of this particular piece is, is the, how, how they are elevated through that experience yeah. of darkness uh, and, and find resources within themselves that they probably didn't know they had until this happened to them. Also, uh, there's trust that you have to have uh, on camera, on stage, on the boards. You two have been involved together for a while off screen. Yeah. Does that trust off screen help in what you do together on screen? I think I think it does. I think it certainly uh, there are a lot of shortcuts because you don't have to kind of play those games about getting to know each other very well. <laughs> but then there's also the kind of thing about if you really know somebody well. I mean, there are times when, like, if I was tired or something, and I think, oh well, I can get away with this, and I just see Bob looking at me going, <laughs> and I think, oh God, okay, I better do this again because <laughs> you can't fool anybody if they know you that well. Though we're which not, is good. Th though we're not terribly critical of one another. I think we both can know, as Liz says once in a while, that, that little look that says, I, I wasn't true enough, I wasn't yeah. straightforward enough, I wasn't honest enough. So. You know, Elizabeth, we've also seen you, for want of a better word, almost grow up on the screen. When we first yeah. saw you uh, in Bewitched, and I mean, that was a light, lovely character, and Lizzie Borden, uh, <laughs> the victim. Did you go to those roles? Uh, did, you, did you gravitate to them on purpose? Um, no, I think I was very lucky to be offered them. You know, but I, I just like the kind of diversity. It's it's fun. It's it's a challenge, you know. And I don't like doing the same thing over and over and over again. I like being a little bit scared, a little bit. A little teeny yeah, tiny bit. Teeny. Real quickly, you were involved with uh, 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 film. I mean, theater and radio projects. What yes. do you have coming up? Well, I'm going to be doing Cyrano de Bergerac at the Great Lakes Theater Festival in the fall, and uh, I'm right now executive producing an eight-hour radio. Uh, Tell a uh, play of uh, Benjamin Franklin in London. We'll be looking for that. And uh, Elizabeth Montgomery, Robert Fox, with a pleasure to have you on the show. It was fun. Very Good much. to see you. Okay. And with Murder in Mind airs tonight, 9 Eastern, watch right it. here on CBS. Watch, <laughs> watch it. it. Watch it. Five before the hour. We'll be back. This portion of CBS This Morning was sponsored by Mountain Grown Folgers Crystals in regular and decaffeinated.